Hello, it's Oli and <laughs> we're getting ready to go to Hearst Castle today. So we're at the visitor center right now and then they're getting ready to put us on a bus. We'll go up there and see the castle and show it to all you guys too as much as we can. Cool beans. <laughs> Copper closer to the earth's surface, allowing them to wash down the high mountain creeks of the west. Though thousands came west looking for easy riches during the gold rush. Pool here. Originally the plan was to have a rose garden, but Mr. Hurst had five sons. They were here during the summers. They wanted a swimming pool. So Mr. Hurst built one. Then two years after that he tore it out and built a bigger one. Then a couple years after that, he felt the pool was starting to look a bit small next to the rest of the estate, which had grown a bit since then. So he decided to expand it by tearing out everything except the second pool's foundation, pouring a third, larger foundation around it. Part of the beautiful garden. had that back then too, it was renewing friendships since 1935. <laughs> but most of what they did here was talk. That may not sound like much, but Mr. Hurst's day, this was their internet. You went to network with other people, you had to attend social gatherings, those people were also attending gatherings like the ones that happened in Now we're going into the dining room. Out of the movie theater. 
the movie theater was too dark to be able to take a picture of that. Cold EP. Oh, cold. Yeah. The cottages where the guests stayed. Yep. I see it. I see it. You out there is really beautiful too. Yes, and mm -hmm. now you're free to walk out. Different areas. Mm -hmm. Three cottages, I believe. Mm -hmm. Three cottages. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful garden. Mm -hmm. up there. Wait, what are you talking about? You can see a little bit of it. All right, we've uh, seen the first part of the tour. We're going to go through two more tours, but uh, I know it's been cold here. Poor E.P. has been cold. What do you think, dear, so far? Very interesting. It's something everyone should see at least one time. It's just amazing. The architecture, which is a, which is a replica from art from all over the world, even King Tut in Paris, and the designer who designed a lot of this back in the day uh, had that flavor of architects from all over the world so I am a little cold so my speech is not very clear because I'm chilled to the bone. Yeah. Poor thing she is cold today but she is enjoying the tour. There's definitely something everybody needs to do one time so we're glad to take you along. Hearst Castle. Uh, Hearst Castle. San Simeon. San Simeon, California. California. <laughs> guest bedroom. Oh, <clears throat> hmm. I am on grave. It's not the master bedroom, that's for sure. And there are 38 bedrooms and 42 baths in this house. Another 20 bedrooms out in the three guest cottages. 20. Mm -hmm.
Oh, just the airflow on people coming through here. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's in the closet. A shower. Hello, dear. <laughs> This is Randall's bedroom. This is where he slept. So that is Casa Del Mar right below this little balcony. And after the summer of 1927, um, Mr. Hurst and Marion were able to use this bedroom suite. And for a European that wants to immigrate to Australia, New Zealand, America, Canada, you can't afford the passage. I would pay your way and you would be my servant for seven years. And then you'd be. Oh, so that they use free. those. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, this is her bedroom. Oh, that's real irony. Look at her path. Mm. This is Marion Davies' bedroom. She made uh, millions in the 20s acting and she took all that money and invested and bought Beverly Hills. Oh, so she was extremely wealthy in her own right. And they could sit next to Greta Garbo at dinner time. Because typically there would be a Hollywood element here. He's a major movie producer, so Hollywood's coming for that reason. And of course, Marion's our hostess. She wants her friends here when she's here as well. And he liked to mix up a guest list anyways. He didn't just want Hollywood or just business people. He liked uh, stimulating conversation, and he thought the best way to achieve that was to get different people from different walks of life, and then they start intermingling. Oh, is it Clark Gable? Well, Clark Gable stayed up in here with his friend. The celestial sitting room. It's the. You can sit anywhere or no? No, no. Just oh, on okay. these benches. Right. I asked. I'm glad you asked. Some people don't. They just sit in the antique furniture. Yeah, folks. You can walk behind the fireplace. You want to take a look back there. You're welcome to sit on these benches in front of the fireplace where I'm standing. Any artwork by Anna Hyatt Huntington? Did he ever own? He didn't buy. Uh, oh, wow. He wasn't interested. No, he really he was wasn't. Antiques, I'd antiques. say pretty the most contemporary art that's mm -hmm. here. Uh, his you'll see a lot of sculptures there in 1928. Yeah, so that's a lot. Before years. Yeah. Oh, so this is this isn't part. This is part of the cloister. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is more the housing over the theater. Over the. Dining room. Dining room. Okay. Oh, we're over the little living room right now. Okay. Those three are over the dining room. Well, come on in if you guys. This is their closets. They're either they're either closed closets or linen closets. One or the other. 
It's just no matter what you do, it's a gorgeous view. I think it's a good way of looking. It's a gorgeous view. <laughs> Oh, that's the loft. So the bed is up above the loft. Oh, I see now. So this is the staircase that goes up. Yeah, so the loft was up there. Right. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Honey, come here. And then the stairs are right there. So they would go up the stairs to go up to the loft. This is the one they can't believe it over there. That was a beautiful room. Oh, goodness. Wow. Wasn't that the bedroom? Wow. There was a bedroom up there. It is. They're after the answer there. Twice there. Yeah. Here's the Roman pool. Actual gold leaf all throughout. Inside the complete. You don't see the filter room. The filter room is back there in the back there. So they just circulate the water and circulate. Uh huh. I know. I'll forget. It's twelve o two. Yeah, you have to go down. Here's above that swimming pool is the big tennis court. Oh, the bells. Oh, that's a beautiful view there. Oh, it's nice. Well, the view is view of the cursor, but the outside is like the other section, not completely. Uh, once he died, they had the special history over to the state, and we weren't allowed to change anything. We were allowed to put... It's the back end of the house. That's where the so I don't have the mind smoke to room was. Together. It's right there where they'd open the doors to the smoke room. Oh. In the back okay. of the house. We saw that when we first did the first... So again, the idea was to have a look at what was called Mediterranean Revival style. And that was focusing on a mountain village in France, Spain, and Italy, in the sense that the main house, Casa Grande, is supposed to be the biggest building and designed to look like a church, uh, which is usually the biggest building in a mountain village. The guest cottages represent the in-town homes with a road, this esplanade, which is this upper part here just behind us. It goes around the entire state in one giant circle. And then you have uh, on the east side of the estate an indoor pool that's like a Roman Byzantine Eastern uh, bathhouse. And then on the west, western side is Roman ruins. They're very much Western Roman in their style and decoration. So again, this is the overall look for the estate. And then intermixed with it is a combination of Spanish and Italian gardens. Uh, the Spanish is the flowing pathways and the smaller shrubbery. The Italian influences is all the big trees, structure to the garden there in, in that particular sense. So it's a really unique fusion of Spanish and Italian and its overall design. So right now they're doing a restoration or conservation in these two rooms. So we're just gonna go right here into the sitting room.
Ain't a little time in here, dear. Say, no hurry. Nice. You wouldn't want a bath in this thing. And is that gold too? Uh, gold inlay on the handles and closets. So I think it's mainly brass and then with a thin layer of gold at the top. That's cool. crazy. A lot. Oh, nice. Through the 20s and the 30s, which is Depression era in America. Yeah, like it this. starts in the late 20s uh -huh. and then is running well up into the 1940s. Uh, leading into World War II. But he was still going pretty strong with 30 newspapers, dozen magazines, eight radio stations, a movie production company. Uh, his net worth is $250 million by 1930, and that's in a combination of 97 businesses all attached to Hearst National Media. So again, this is how he's still able to collect and build even during the Depression. looks by the time you walk over here you think you're gonna be looking more at his left side but actually his right side and face follows you as you walk across the room and it's just the, geome the geometry of the paintings are done so precisely that it gives that optical illusion that their eyes or their face is following you no matter where they go it became very popular uh, by the late 16th century early 17th century for portraits to be done especially in the uh, you know more Mediterranean uh, yeah, yeah. Now, a lot of these guys are a little confused as to why you put guest bedrooms here instead of the sound thing where they would have motion view and put the uh, staff house on the south side. But if you wanted the kitchen on the south side, it's kind of bit about it. Um, so, again, yeah, that's why guests are over here. Now, again, this room was designed for your hostess in mind. And a couple reasons as to why is mainly she uh, has heart shaped marble. Um, because it's, it's basically a big slab that they cut into big pieces and they get the heart shape sometimes. Oh, get them. Yeah. So we call it heart shape. I don't know the official name for it, but for the nicknames that we give it, we call it heart shape marble because, again, it's all one slab they've cut sliced from and then put it all together. Book match. Yeah, book match. Yeah. I love the heart shape marble. Wow, that's a nice bath to me. Mm-hmm. That'd be big enough for us, honey. Mm-hmm. Oh, the shower's right there. Here. Yeah, this would have been his room. And again, the artifacts in here are much more consistent with what his style was. He really did like the uh, Moore style. So you have a little bit more of the geometric ceilings in the 15th and 14th century. Um, you see them used with the 18th, 19th century Persian tile works. He's a big collector of silver, so you have a large silver door here hanging up on the wall, as well as the 17th century Spanish tabernacle. Uh, it's all silver as well. Um, Tabernacle is a storage space for bread and wine for what is the Holy Communion. Uh, bread being the representation of the body of Christ, uh, wine being the representation of the blood of Christ. Uh, he was a big fan of traveling. He traveled Europe once per year for about six months. So you can see his favorite views plus what he built here on the hilltop with the architecture. So, yeah, but again, I, there's no carpet to get over there, so 
Uh, for sure, we can't do other than that. The dressing rooms to the. Uh, so we're, we're underneath the tennis court. Underneath the tennis court. Pool. Yes. From the pool. to learn more about the region, you can visit the Coastal Discovery Center at San Simeon Bay, located across Highway 1 from the castle entrance at William Randolph Hearst Memorial State Beach. Hey everybody, we're done. We took three whole tours. It took all day long, but it was awesome. This is a Neptune. No, no, it's Roman Pool. Anyway, that's where we're ending up. What do you think about today? Honey? Amazing. Amazing. I would advise everybody to come out at least one time at least one time to Hearst Castle. I mean, we, there's still a lot to see, but we've been here all morning. But when you come, bring a coat. It's mm -hmm. cold up here and eat as much as you can before you come. But it's a beautiful place, very scenic. And I don't know, it's a quarter of a million. What's the size? A uh, quarter of a million acres, but then they sold some of that off. But there's still quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. That's all I can say. Uh-huh. Beautiful li landscape. Great place to go. So anyway, enjoy. Signing off from San Simeon, First Castle. Uh -huh. okay. The other thing we want to tell you is to check us out. We are on YouTube. Go to YouTube, look for Oli and EPTV. And then on Facebook, we're on Oli and EPTV channel. So check us out. Share it with everybody.